Oh man, what's going on folks? Howdy folks, how are you today? It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. It's Sunday, gonna do some church service at the house. Um, obviously it's raining out. So I'm not gonna be doing too much crap. But what I do need to do is get the radiator out of the grandma's truck and get it into the garage and I can start probably draining the radiator in the blue truck so we can pull that old one out and get this new one in. But I need to inspect this one because um, I obviously wasn't home when it got delivered and on the bill it says, you know, due to further inspection. So if there's something wrong with it, I can probably say, hey, come and get this shit and take it back. But we're in a pickle. We're not in, well, we're not in anything because we can do whatever we want. We want it to, uh, we want it to be good so we don't have to worry about nothing. You know what I mean? And then we are, um, we want to be able to throw that thing in. So I, like I said, I need to drain that one down. And um, that's a start draining it down. Obviously we got a couple holes here, which I looked in and everything looks to be okay. So I'm not gonna lose my shit. Oh, uh, let's get this thing down real quick. So I can uh, get it on the ground. I'm gonna hook you up right back here. Uh, yeah, you should be able to see from right here. And uh, I'll get that thing down real fast and get the tow motor, not the tow motor, but the two wheel cart over. And, um, you know, I'll open the box up. Once we get her inside, I got me a decent spot here that I can help. I'm not exactly going to be able to, um, you know, I'll shove it from over here, I guess. Get a two wheel cart through there without tearing up the side of the beetle or anything. You know, me? You know, me? We don't even need that shit. What? Sorry, Fred. Dead in there. Dead rug in there. Shit. No main. I don't. I'm gonna have to. I I wonder. I'm curious. Okay, I'm curious about what kind of um protection this thing had so what i'm going to do is i'm going to peel this top up real quick and then we'll see if there's anything on the other side or the other side that's any foam or anything or is, it, is this in just in a box flopping back around where it possibly could get damaged on the side where that box just crumbled and stuff like that so i guess we'll see what um you know what kind of crap we got going on in there i'd be really disappointed if um you know, that thing was tore up, but I guess. Here's what we got going on. This is on um, wood like this on both sides. So I can actually remove the cardboard. As um, <coughs> my good buddy Richard from Florida would say, fucking cardboard. Uh, we can remove the cardboard from it. I'll probably 
do the oh what do and um try and maybe i'll just cut it i don't know i like cardboard especially something that big because i'll be able to lay on that bad boy i'll slide it under the chalk and lay on that thing and uh it'll be fantabulous so we'll see i don't know i'll get that cardboard off real quick and uh we'll go from there you know what you know what we will go from there and we'll see what uh kind of stuff we got going on man you know, that's not gonna work is it is it now what we got here is a three inch five core 42 bolt radiator um so it's sitting on this board everything looks to be okay i mean there's a little bit of scuff right there on the fin and oh right here you know this is all that's probably from when i had put it down on the bed right there when i was dropping it i'll, I'll comb that out i've got a couple combs so i can straighten that out hopefully we don't have any issues there um i'll probably end up painting this one before it goes in as it is because i don't want that to be you know looking like that and stuff and i'll have to find that comb i know it's probably around here somewhere um because you know but obviously this place is a complete mess so it's just what it is you know <clears throat> one guy out here doing everything one project to the next shit just gets shoved and thrown so that's what that is so i'll um i have to get to draining that radiator so i can start on it uh it may not be for a couple days because unfortunately it's supposed to rain and be windy and nasty so that's what it is but at least we got the radiator and we can get that bad boy uh slapped in the truck well, I can't seem to find that comb, uh, but it's not raining in. The sun was just poking out a minute ago. and So I've got my bucket clean. We're going to climb up under the truck here real quick. And I'm going to hook you. I don't know where. that You're going to be not in a way to where you can see. And uh, it's not going to affect or bother you any. All right, just see if I can slap you on. I'll slap you right here on that doohickey. Peel you up nope nope not gonna do it not gonna do it figure it out i'll figure it out and i wish this thing had i had a tripod for this thing i actually do i just don't ever use it anyways there you go how's that you little crooked figure you out i'm gonna start draining this stuff because i need to and i can so i'm gonna Crank this thing over and see where she starts to spooge out at. You know what I mean? Hopefully it don't get too much, too far out the way. Oh. Okay, so that's broke free. Got her broke free. Um, I still somewhat need to keep that thing you know, available. I got to get a screwdriver real quick so I can shove up in there and try to peel that off. Because basically I'm going to drain it from here. For some odd reason my nozzle, it just spins and it won't. So I should m maybe try to fix that while I'm uh, down. But if not, this ain't no big deal. You know, we're just going to do it lightly at a time. Fill that bucket up, dump it, just like the last time. should be helpful. Alrighty, I'm back with a screwdriver, so let's get this thing broke free and um, we'll start draining some juice out of here. 
And you know, I'm sure someone somewhere is going to say, oh man, you should have had help. First of all, you know how it is. It goes with me. I don't ask for help. So there's no need to be in the comments saying, oh, so-and-so should have been there helping you because you were there helping them or anything like that because that's not the case here. Um, you know, your boy likes to work alone. And uh, I don't really like help too much. I, I'm fine with going and helping somebody else work on their stuff, but I don't need help here. I'm fine with just doing what I'm doing. If I need help, I'll, I'll call or ask for it. I'll have help. Don't worry. Trust me. We'll get help. There we go. Looks like we may need to keep that in there or something. This might be what we're doing here. Let's see if I can rig that thing up to hold it. Hold it open. Oh, not that much, though. Yeah, there we go. That's all fresh. That's freaking beautiful looking. So basically, we'll watch the bottom of the barrel fill up to about right in here, and um, or to the top of the white lettering, right up in there. And then we'll pull it out. We'll dump it into the jugs, and we'll do this probably. I think this takes about three or four times. Do the same thing with the green chuck, except the nozzle works on it when it's not full crap. And uh, it'll just spooge out. And then when I'm done, I'll just pull the screwdriver, put that um, back on there, tighten it up to where it's not leaking out, and then I'll, you know, dump the stuff. So might as well just grab a pillow and get comfortable, right? Probably could. I don't know. Looks like we're we're leaking somewhere in this thing because there's a bunch of different spots where it looks like it's still wet, but it also hasn't been moved or drove or cleaned up or washed or anything like that since we did that the last time. So it's what it is, but <clears throat> at least we'll make some progress. We'll get this drained out and I'll be able to start peeling stuff off here. That's where I can just pluck it out. It'll be um, easy, and that's one nice thing about doing this before I know exactly what I'm doing. Like, I, I don't really need help. So, that's something to remember. I don't need help. I can do it. I got all the help I need in that Cushman. You know, somebody once said to me, uh, Dane Scott the Trucker's Lounge, when I was over there, he's like, man, Cushman should sponsor you. And I thought to myself, yeah, they probably should, the way I use that thing. And, you know, because he's like, man, it's so awesome that you just dumped it in the back of that Cushman and you use that to work on that and swap that radiator out. So, Cushman, step up and sponsor me. Throw some cheddar my way or something for throwing your name all the time around. Because uh, we're going to use that again here, and we're going to get it done. You know what I mean? Well, we pretty much got her drained down. And uh, if you can see off in the distance, they're probably not. It's starting to rain, so we're gonna shut her down. Uh, there's a little bit of juice down in here still. And that's wide open, so on the front side here, that'll be fine, Nothing, no rain's gonna get in there, nothing like that, so it should be all good. Uh, we got that many jug so we must have leaked probably about two gallons out i'd say two three gallons out in the time of uh it sitting for you know since that was done in july oh look at that spider look at that big boy there you go you wolf spider man get him where you going where you going boy you better get your ass out of here man get your ass out of here i'm not gonna kill him because i don't kill him unless uh my wife asked me to anyways that's that. Uh, I guess we'll come back in a couple days when the weather doesn't suck and it isn't um, too windy or rainy. You know, I'll give you updates for the next couple days. Whatever. You know what I mean? We'll be doing her soon, though. We'll see you. You know, what's going on, folks? Holiday folks, how are you today? Welcome back to the Chad Keegan YouTube channel. Trucking Edition Spectacular. And today is the day that I'm going to swap out the radiator and the blue truck. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning and um, <clears throat> just got out here probably about a half hour ago. It's about 8.30. Um, did some stuff over here, threw that back together because I had taken it apart and um, you know had them just stacked up because I figured... The new one would come with that, but it didn't. It came in that box, which you've seen. 
table ready. Um, cars are moved out and stuff like that. And I already got this thing jacked over because I was under there. I had the four bolts that I had to unhook from that nozzle, which is still hooked up because it's being a pain in the butt. Oh, uh, right in there. That guy right there and it hooked up to that turkey neck. I can't, for some reason, I want to just pull it down and kind of leave it and twist it if I could. But um, it doesn't want to come out of one of the bolt holes. It's kind of tight, so it's what it is. But I've got to unhook this, unhook all my hoses real quick, uh, let everything else kind of drain down if there is anything else, and then um, unhook those two bolts on the bottom, and I should be able to pull it. So uh, we'll see what's going to happen. This shouldn't take forever since i've done it before all those bolts are nice i should just be able to buzz them off real quick um because nothing's too torcolated either i should just be able to buzz those off real quick and then slap that new one on and um switch them out hopefully everything goes smooth i guess we'll see what happens maybe we might have some malarkey along the way but hopefully not i guess only time will tell it's not supposed to rain the wind's only supposed to be five to ten miles per hour it's only going to get up to 60 degrees so it'll probably be an overcasty day like this so um it's what's going on right now so i'm just gonna do what i gotta do and get her done you know what i mean <laughs> So now we gotta go in the garage. We gotta switch the pans and stuff around. Shouldn't take too long because these should all break free and buzz, 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 but there's a lot. Drag that other one over, we'll do what we need to do, and uh, slap this bad boy back together. We're gonna shove it in, just like we took it out. Well, folks, we're back. We've uh, had a hell of a day. I'm going to show you something. Look at this shit. That is packaged up and uh, ready to go back because uh, radiator's about three to four inches too short. Now, when I called and talked to the guy, it says 1967 through 1984 K100 these radiators fit. Don't fit. I got that bitch pulled out, looked at pin, looked over there. Ain't the same. It's not right. So I called them up. They said, package it back up. Send us some pictures and we'll send you some shipping stuff. We'll have somebody come get it. Okay. So that's what's going on. Did take the uh, radiator over to uh, Archibald Radiator and dropped it off the shop, though. I told them to test it, see if they could fix it, and I'll let me know. If not, they've got some people that can, they'll they'll make sure there's a core that's right. So we're um, waiting on that still. Fucking awesome. That's what's going on. What are you going to do today, Napoleon? Whatever I feel like. Gosh. It's 
So here's an interesting tidbit. This stupid odometer has been working for the last week. Um, it's like on a Saturday, it didn't want to work, and then I think I clocked 16 miles, okay? And then I <clears throat> just woke up. I'm trying to clear my throat and stuff still. Sorry, and I got bedhead, obviously. And then on Sunday, the thing worked, and it's worked ever since. So this week, I've been able to track my miles perfectly. So maybe if I'm lucky and this thing works all week, I'll be able to do some fuel mileage breakdown on a total mileage for the week and see some stuff. If I'm lucky. That's a big if. <sighs> Squawking bell. I got to do some stuff, though, right now. You know, what's going on today, folks? Oh, it's um Friday. Just grab, jumping on a cushion here because I need this thing. I need to do some stuff. You know what I mean? We're going to go and we're going to talk about stuff that I need to do here in a second. But I need to get some crap out of the back of this real quick. So I got some crap in the back because I need to fold back. You know what I mean? So give me a second. I'm going to chuck some shit in over here. No bird barrel. It's way too windy to um, burn anything, though. Super windy out. Just had a nice, fun ride back from Archibald. Ran over to Archibald because uh dude calls me up yesterday and says, Hey, radiator's here. I've been meaning to call you. And I'm like, oh, well, the core at least. I'm like, that's awesome. So, ran over there real quick to uh, get, that, get that shit, if you know what I'm saying. Get some of this crap out of here. I'm gonna get all this crap in here. Really don't want that thing sitting outside by you know, being exposed and whatnot, but a little bit of leaves ain't gonna kill nobody, and I'll clean what I need to out. I doubt the mail lady's got anything good for me, but let's go over here and we'll talk about the stuff. Back her up. Going to back her up, mate. What's that in the back here? What's up? It's hard to drive one hand. Don't run into grandma's truck. Straighten her out. Don't hit the Cadillac. We're good. Oh, what we'll do is I'll back this thing right up. And then I'll uh, unload the crap right into the back. You know what I mean? But I gotta get it completely straight. So I'll have to do this about three times because I got you in my hand. And I don't want to put you down. That should work. We'll make it work. Make it work. So, here we go. That's what we got. Old radiator core and everything for the blue truck. Sent it over to the guy. He tested it. He said, no, it's no good. I said, hey, can you get me? He says, I can get you a core. It's blase splat this much mount. So, when's it going to be here? He says, probably should be in a week, whatever. I said, cool. That was two, over two weeks ago, but... It's here now, so that's what's important. So now I can finally get back onto this because, yeah, unfortunately, that one from um, Four States didn't fit. It's too small. And I said to him, he's like, yeah, I had it out the box. I checked it out. This is the guy over there that I just picked this up from. He says, I had it out of the box. I checked it out. Everything's cool. I'm like, cool. I'm like, it's the right size and everything. You made sure? He's like, oh, yeah, it's the right size. If it wasn't, I wouldn't have called you to come and get it. So we've got a radio that's right the size of the core. So we're going to throw this in the back of the Cushman, drag it off, and then I'm going to flop that down. I'm going to hook up. I'm going to grab the two-wheel cart, and I'm just going to put it in the garage. No big deal. So that's what I'm going to do off camera, and then I will come back probably tomorrow morning first thing. I'll come back on 
and uh, we will get to, um, I'll pull the wagon out of the garage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear this one down, then I'm going to slap that core in there, and I'm going to swap them out, and then I'll be ready to install into the blue truck. So, here we go. What up, folks? Uh, back at the garage this morning, getting ready to uh, disassemble this real quick. Probably won't shoot any of this, because to be honest with you, this has all been done previously on a video. So there's really no point, but uh, just got off the phone with Trucker Style. Sean said he's doing good, you know, just a little update on him and his situation down there working in them fields or whatever in Texas doing his thing. But yeah, I just got to buzz these off real quick. Buzz, buzz, buzz. And then I'm going to pull this out. I've got a couple pallets sitting outside, which you probably can't see on the other side of the beetle. I'm going to pull in here and I'm going to build one up to where it's standing up. Then I'm going to be able to flop it down, take that top off, swap it. Then I'm going to pull this one out of here because it's down in here. It is right here, and it looks damn good. So get that out of there, put it on the pallet, and then start, um, you know, swapping things out and get that bad boy put together. I'll put the bottom on first. That way I can slide it in there just like this, put it back into this, and then I'll put the top on because we want this right here to be right here on this that way we can uh that's what we're gonna grab when we go to pull it up and flip it around so we'll probably do some painting too i might um when i get everything done you know i hook that stuff up there i'll hook that stuff up there like i do i'll let it hang and dangle and i may do some painting quick that way i can uh get this thing sexed up a little bit but yeah this stuff should all come off pretty easy it shouldn't be too bad and i've got cork tape fresh cork tape same stuff out in the uh grandma's truck i'll need to grab but <clears throat> You know it's what it is so we'll get her done i don't know if i'll be able to do it all today i should be able to do it all today hopefully it doesn't take me too long but i gotta go to the baby's first birthday party later so it could be some footage of that little monster eating some cake or something i don't know well, we got all the bolts out here but we've got a prime opportunity we've got to uh take advantage of right now because uh, this doesn't happen often but occasionally this happens so we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see some of the lord's work jesus christ brother chad here's coming by my gotta make sure everything's cool copacetic inside and we gonna go do it so we will uh be right you back get them hairy sweats <laughs> man look at this baby mullet here we got going on folks we got kim getting ready to trim this little dude's hair up what's your name what's his name what's your name What's your name? Oh, he's, camera he's camera shy, but that's okay, folks. We're just going to skip his name because he doesn't care. Look at that mullet. How long have you been cutting his hair like this? Oh, my God. Uh, Kim? I'm thinking. Yeah. I don't know. Probably yeah, look at that At thing. least a year? Oh, at least a year? Oh, over. Two. Over a year. Oh, my goodness. Over, yeah. At least three. He's been getting cut like this since he's a baby. That's awesome. So, one day, I'm sitting out here. And uh, Kim's like, you got to check out this mullet. We cut this baby mullet, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I got to see this mullet because uh, the dad had to convince the mom <laughs> to let the guy have a mullet. And uh, finally, after working on her, he got her convinced no, we to wear. Yeah, Kim, okay. So Kim just did it one day and she says he's going home like this. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, he's, he's been rocking the best baby mullet I've ever seen. So. And he gets cat scratches down the side. Reminds me of when I was a young lad. He sits good though, so. He sits like me, he always has. What's cause he knows when he gets done, he's gonna be rocking a sweet mullet. His brother's <laughs> over there rocking a mullet too. This is Sorry. more of a rock and roll mullet, huh? Yep. Turn, right. Turn, around. Turn around. Yeah, let's see the side of that. <laughs> I asked him if I should cut my hair like that, but I don't have enough in the front. You know what I mean? All my stuff's going thin, so we got to go with the uh, crazy look for now. I'll fluff him up. Yeah, get in there. Look at him cat scratches. Oh, he's so cute. Hold your head still. <laughs> Look at the curl. He likes it. Look at him curls on the back, folks. Give him a little shake. Yeah. yeah shake Go ahead. Shake it, it out, buddy. Do it. Shake. Come on. You do, do it. Do it. Right. Come on. Do it. Shake. Shake. Do it. Do it. Just give a little shake. Do it. Shake. No. Oh, you can do it. No weights on the whistle. I don't know. He was. It's cute though. He was. Uh. He was playing with the back and stuff. It's totally rocking. So. 
That's what's up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little clip because that's uh, the special right there. Special moment from Brother Chad coming to you live. Well, that was fun. God, I love that baby mullet. Every time they come over, I've only seen them a couple times, and man, I just love that baby mullet. So I gotta get, you know, I gotta get my time in. They probably think them is crazy. Bruh. That's okay. Who doesn't think that? <clears throat> Anyways, back to this. I'm gonna have to pry this off because it don't want to come because I did such a good job on this. It's st sticking to it. So we gotta get this off and then uh get our pallet belt and get to work. So what's up? We'll be back with a progress update.